first let's start with the accumulator this is the schematic diagram for the accumulator as you can see we use uh, some end gates and D flip flops okay the function of accumulator is to store any value that is given to the input and then uh, the output is the same as the value stored in the input okay so now um, this is the compilation report okay uh, So as you can see, the completion is successful. And now let's uh, test the simulation. Okay, so this is the the simulation input that I have uh, given to the accumulator. So the output of the accumulator should be the same as the input because uh, it stores the value. But when the clear is one, it shouldn't be stored at it shouldn't be storing any value it should be zero okay so basically this is this is the output of the simulation you can see uh, when the input is 2 the output is 2 input is 4 and the output is 4 input is 9 the output is 9 input is 11 the output is 11 but when the input is f it it, uh, it give the output zero because the clear is 1 when it clears one, it, it clear the value in, inside the accumulator. Okay. okay. So um okay, this is the comparator. Okay, uh, I created the iterative comparator earlier, and I insert four iterative comparator to create a cascaded iterative comparator. So, okay, this is the com compilation report. Okay, uh, this report, uh, this compilation is successful. Now, um. Comparator, the function of comparator is to compare the value and the comparator will uh, tell us whether the two values are either equal or greater. As you can see, E out means it is uh, equal, G out means it is greater. If it's if E and G is zero, means it is lesser than, uh, sorry, the A value is lesser than B. Okay, so okay, uh, this is the input I have given to the comparator. Uh, for B, since we want, uh, we want the we want to compare the values with uh, eleven. So for B, I just put eleven one zero one one, and for A, I uh, I insert every single um, four bit values. Okay, from zero to fifteen. So this is the simulation output. As you can see, from zero to ten. The output for equal and greater is zero because eleven is more than zero to ten. Okay, now one zero one one and one zero one one, it is equal. As you can see, the output for equal is one, but greater is zero, means it is correct. So this is one one zero zero is twelve until uh, fifteen. It is greater than eleven, so greater than is. 1 and equal is 0. We need to create a pitch failure uh, as the clock for our system. Uh, two pitch failure is needed. One with the output of 1 hertz and another one for 100 hertz. For 1 hertz, we just enter this column uh, with 20 like this. Uh, and for 100 hertz, it's the same coding but uh, but we need to change this to 18 after you create it, compile then create a symbol file for, for both of these pitch failure then uh, open a schematic diagram insert the insert the symbol here then compile it make the circuit look like this uh, for this clock here, we need to take the 
cloud from the CTLD which has a specific output of 500 MHz so this is the input filter we use uh, to do flip flops and uh, not gate and 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 gate so um, the function it, the function of input filter is to filter the glitches of button presses um, into a one up into a one single input okay so uh, when you press a button uh, it will produce like a few uh, high and lows and if a fast clock is used um, if a fast clock is if if a fast clock is used then uh, it will detect as a multiple presses when we actually press once so input filter is used to filter the um, glitches in, in and turn it into a single press so okay this is the compilation report and as you can see it is a successful compilation okay so this is the nut rider that um, I think I have taken from milestone 2 but there's there are some slight changes for example this LPM counter have enabler and there's a clear output <coughs> this enabler is uh, so that when enable is on only the function uh, the nut rider will function as usual and the clear the clear output will give to the accumulator to clear the value when it is when it is supposed to okay so this is the um, compilation report and it is successful okay now let's go to the uh, waveform and i have tried uh, enable and disable so uh, when when enable is one it means the nut rider is on and the output should be same as the previous nut rider except that now we have clear so um, the clear the clear should be uh, high the output for clear should be high when the last LED light up so let's see okay as you can see uh, when enable is one only with only the uh, night radio starts to function as usual and when the last uh, LED is uh, light up and only the clear will give value high so when the clear is high it will clear the value at accumulator so um, the accumulator will then be zero and then the comparator will be zero and the enable will be zero again and when the enable is low you can see no no output the LED will, will not light up hello so this is the selector that we have created okay this is a ripple carry adder and these are the end gates okay so we just um, for the input A we just uh, connect the B uh, sorry the A1 the second bit to the end gate because uh, we want to get the value 0, 0, 1, 0 which is 2 when button 2 is pressed and for the B value we connect the B2 and B0 the first bit and the third bit to the end gate because we want to get the value 0, 1, 0, 1 which is equals to 5 when button 5 is um, uh, pressed okay so now uh, let's see the report this is the compilation report uh, as you can see this is this uh, compilation is successful now let's move on to the uh, waveform okay this is button 2 and this is button 5 when button 2 is pressed um, y output y will give value 2 and when button 5 is pressed up, uh, output y will give value 5 okay so um, at this at this moment when you press both of course you want to add 2 and 5 together so it should be 7 here okay now let's see the uh, 
the result okay. so when button 2 is 1 it gives value 0, 0, 1, 0. as you can see here here and here 0, 0, 1, 0. and when you press button 5 it gives a value 5 0, 1, 0, 1. Okay. when button is not pressed it is 0 here this is 0 this is also 0 Okay, so uh, as I said earlier, when we press both buttons uh, simultaneously, it will give the value of 5 plus 2 which is 7. So here, we press the button together and we'll get the value 7. So this is um, supposedly correct, okay? Schematic diagram for binary to be CD converted. We use this uh, conditional adder which adds uh, the value 3 to the input and this is the BCD to 7 segment converter. We use 7447 IC and these are the outputs which will be given to the BCD 7 segment. And this value will be given to the second 7 segment uh, which will give the value 1. So uh, let's start the compilation. So, completion is successful. After you have created all the components that will be used for the vending machine, uh, create a new schematic diagram and compile all the components that you, that you want to use uh, for the system. Uh, so this is our circuit, the complete circuit. Uh, after that, we need to assign all the input and output pin. We need to assign the pin uh, that will be used on the CPLD. So this is our pin scanner. All the output and input pin is already assigned on the CPLD. After that, uh, you can upload the programmer uh, on the CPLD. So this is it uh, for our system. Then after this, we will show you the res the result of our simulation. This is our design circuit based on the best from the quarters and we have two inputs. This is for input 20 cent and this is input 50 cent. Uh, from if the value uh, exceed 11 cent, uh, the circuit will be set. Okay, that's all from us. Thank you.